Hi, it's me again with Krill Drill Tips and Tricks. I was not going to do another video on this, but somebody watched it. It's just been out a little while, and they said, well, you didn't make the hook. How would you make that hook? And it is. There is a little trick to it. I don't know if I can do it perfectly. Uh, I am going to left-click, right-click, and have no outline. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the center of the page, which has nothing to do with anything. And then I'm going to try to attempt to draw this hook. And I am going to do it with a freehand tool. And we can clean it up. And this is where your artistic ability would come into play. So I'm just going to start drawing. And then I'm going to draw like that. Now, let's take the smoothing tool and take away my... Uh, unsteady hand or my artistic ability we could make this quite a bit bigger because we could only um, we can only we can click on that line and I'm not going to adjust anything else but I have to click on that line and get rid of these and we could also I could have set my uh, let's see how I had it set freehand tool I, there is a uh, freehand smooth this. We could set this to 100 and see if I can't do a better job. I can actually draw it pretty close to the same area and see how a little bit smoother it is. So you could turn that up. But I'm going to use the one I, I started off with. And we could take, if you don't have the uh, X7 or above, start of the smoothing tool. If you don't have it, you could start deleting nodes till you kind of get that smoothness that you want. Now here's kind of the trick and the reason, real reason, well, I, I wasn't gonna make the video and then somebody suggested, how would you do that? Then I'm gonna hit F12 on the keyboard or go down here, click on my pen tool. And I'm gonna make this, let's try four points, maybe a little bit more. First of all, I'm gonna make it black and I'm gonna go Eight points. That's pretty, pretty good. But now here's kind of the key. I'm going to give it round end caps. Then I'm going to say, okay. Now I'm, and that's not perfect by any means. I am going to go to object, uh, convert the outline to an object. Left click, right click. And then I can do this and make part of it in front and part of it in back. And it's a little bit, you know, we don't want it, um, we want it to look like this. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna, instead of cutting away this line, we're gonna cut away these lines. So this looks like it's behind it now. And then this is gonna be in front of it. Now that, now that it looks like they're both in the back. So we can cut through there. So this one looks like it's in the front. That one looks like in the back. Now this is the drawing and I didn't make it quite thick enough for the rope, but you can kind of see, and I couldn't tell if it was a rope or a, a hook. I could have played around with it. But what I did do when I turned that into an object and made it thicker, all my lines are equal. Let's, uh, let's back up here. It's kind of a fun little deal. Let's do it again. I'm going to take my freehand tool or freehand tool, which I very seldom ever use. I'm going to leave that on 100. And then this time I'm going to kind of come out like a hook and see what it looks like. I should have really come straight up. So go in and kind of come out like a hook. We're going to leave it just like that. We could still take the shape tool and do anything we wanted to uh, with our item, kind of make it look like a hook. We could actually, no, that's too much. Now, remember what we did? We take this and made it, now eight points is too thick maybe, but you know, and, and I try to show people there's a lot. Six or seven isn't listed, but you can list seven and it'll do seven. Then object, convert it to an outline, right click, right click. Well, see where I messed up? 
before I convert it to an outline, go to your pen tool and give it round corners. That'll add to it a lot. Then grab it, object, convert to an outline, or convert the outline to an object. And you would really only want to do this if you were coloring in with different colors. If you're going to do it all black, you know, it doesn't really matter because it's going to kind of run into it. But if you were going to do a, let's use the Smart Fill tool to do that in black. You see, if, if we did both black, it doesn't really matter. But this is where you'd maybe want to pick a gray. And then that way you can kind of see it go in front of, I got off course. Either I got off, I need to zoom in, or I have a leak, which I don't think. Yep, I got a leak somewhere. Easily found. A lot of times you can do this when you have a leak. I'm going to left click and do the gray first. Look at that. And then take the black. It's surprisingly how that happens sometimes. Well, I still got a leak, but the video is not about the leak. You know what? A lot of times a leak can be caused by two items and there it is. I had a, a black, <laughs> still got a leak. I don't, I don't really see the leak. Tell you what, let me take the color out of here. Take the color out of here. And that doesn't leak, but this must be leaking right in here and easily fixed. Just take your shape tool and just come in a little bit. Go past your line. There, That's probably the leaker right there. Now, when you're filling in, you really don't have to trim the ends off because the fill will go around those hairlines. That's the vantage to the hairline. So we're going to try this one more time. There we go. Then get the gray. Ah! I don't know what's going on. Let's try this. Try this as last result. See, I, I'm using somebody else's file. No outline. So I don't know what's going on. Let's, uh, let's get the nudge factor. Well, there's one inch. Let's nudge this out of the way. And one thing we could do I'm not for sure if this will work, but we could close this off, close this off, and smart fill these two things in gray, and then nudge them back, and let's see what happens. See how it looks. There we go. Can't tell it. So that's a really another video in itself. Well, you can. I'm not all the way there, but you can always take your shape tool. And as long as we do this right here, and then go to object, order, back a page. It'll put it behind the black. And when I click off of it, you won't be able to see it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that made a little bit of sense. And thank you for watching.